So we are going to go to a restaurant because uh, the restaurant in the hotel opens at seven o'clock and we're hungry. So we got a recommendation to go to this Brazilian restaurant. It's about a five minute walk from the hotel. So we'll let you know how it is. Ah, uh, such a pleasant day. So we turn right here. So there's the uh, Copacabana. It's Atlantic. We're gonna go right. Okay, yes. It's supposed to be Santa Clara. Oh, here, Santa Clara. Let's cross the street. So we're in Copacabana. That's amazing. I can't wait to try this restaurant out. Yeah. You get a free appetizer. She gave us a voucher. They have a lot of stuff around here. Burgers. They have a McDonald's too. <laughs> All right. This is nice. They have a lot of little food stalls here that are so interesting. Combinado Carioca. Look at that. Just watch your spit. Combinado Carioca. And here's the recommended restaurant. Looks good. That's okay. Hola. Hola. Dos personas. Adentro. What do you want to say? Inside? Oh, yeah. uh. Hola. <laughs> Gracias. Uh, obrigado. Is it Portuguese or English? Uh, English. English. This is so exciting. So recommended by the concierge. Concierge. And always trust the concierge. They know the area very, very well, and uh, it looks very promising. So we're getting our menus in English. Yes. Gracias. Gracias. Oh, yeah. I always say that. <laughs> Individual. Ooh. They have cassava croquettes. Oh my god. The crispy pork cat. Look at 502. Appetizers. Android me. Hi. I have wish for two is for one piece. Yes. Suggestion. Suggestion. So this barbecue for me, the moqueca, which is good. I have moqueca. It's this one is for two. For two, okay. Yeah. Mix barbecue with this for two. Very good. Yeah, very good. I recommend is this for one from the meat on the rum steak. Rum steak. Okay, yeah. it's one. Rum steak or yeah. you have for two. Okay, it's barbecue this. for two. Yeah, from the meat on the rum rum steak. Maybe the barbecue for two people. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Hey. All right. Okay. Look at that. Cheers. Ah. Let's just toast first. The moqueca de peixe. And then, which one here? Rump steak or sun dried meat? This. This one? Okay, rump steak. Medium? There's a medium. 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 Oh, this is the. Uh, Ooh. 
Appetizer? What's this? Crispy pork. No, what is it? Okay, it's I'm doing the pork. Just pork? Should we try that? Crispy pork that? Okay, one. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> this is a suffice. impression so far of um, Liam? Well, it's hard to form an impression. I mean, so far I like what I see. It looks really nice and interesting. It's a very vibrant city. Lots of people, many different nationalities. Very international and very colorful. You, think, you can feel the spice of life here. Mm, that's, How about the language? The language is very close to Spanish, so I speak Spanish with them and mm. they speak Portuguese and we pretend we understand each other completely. <laughs> no, but actually you can understand a lot because it is very, very close. They actually speak uh, Spanish too, a little bit. Uh, Not too many people speak Spanish, but I guess, you know, it's easier to understand. And then our... I'm just enjoying this. This is so good. <laughs> so, we are at Barroca Chiquita. That's not the way she pronounced it. She says she, when she was here, she says she said something like Barata the Shikil. I, I don't know. I thought it was like Bajoka. Bajoka. Yeah, because the R's are pronounced differently. So I don't want to pretend that I'm doing her accent properly because I don't speak Portuguese. But if you actually read it based on its spelling, it's Barata Chiquita. No, it's in Spanish it would be Barata the Chiquita. But anyway, it's not. I have food already and look at me. I'm enjoying my caperinha. It's a Brazilian drink. Mm. Oh. So good. Oh, this is app app. Uh, uh, definitely this deserves deserves a longer stay. I can see that. So security, right? I don't know. Sometimes people are just too, you know, too much. Like they try to scare you, or at least you know, try to give you like warnings or advice. But once you're there, it doesn't feel like it. Yeah, I don't think you. I think you. You have to listen to the advice. You have to keep it in mind. Mm. Uh, you shouldn't let it paralyze you when you travel. You should just go out and enjoy and just follow some of the advice. Don't be too ostentatious. Don't show jewelry. Don't hold your cell phone up so someone could grab it. So just keep everything really close Most to the mind. chest. Yeah, so. And, and that's what we're going to do. Yeah. I see a lot of people walking around, a lot of foreigners, a lot of Brazilians, and they seem to be doing fine. And tonight's itinerary, we have our... We're going to um, having a... Um, we're going to check out the nightlife, the gay nightlife wow. in... Rio. And so we hired this very special guide from uh, Rio de Janeiro Gay Tours. His name's Marcelo. And we'll be meeting him shortly at 7.30. And he's going to take us to all the hot spots here just to give us a flavor of what it's like. Oh my God, that's a lot of food. I hope that's not ours. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Holy cow! I know it's going to be a lot of food. But hopefully, we didn't over order, but you'll see. I'll see. I didn't get to eat a lot at the airport. I mean, on the airplane because hello. <laughs> I think I'm going to have another caparinha. It's so good. We're not driving. Uh oh, here's the appetizers. Oh my. Chicharrones. Chicharrones. Yes, I see. This is one more. Oh, yeah. yeah, one more. Yeah. Okay, what do they call this? That's, that's these electricity. are called uh, crackling pork. But what we call these are chicharrones. Mm. These are just like pork rind. They're very hot. They look very good, but oh, again, a lot of food. We're not going to be able to finish this. I know. And this is not a regular thing for a diet, you know, but oh, but we're it smells it wonderful. Our hotel, hopefully. There's a fridge. I love it. I don't want to fill up on these, but they're so good. They're nice, crunchy, and mm. They bring me back to the Philippines. It's like chicharron. 
or in Mexico they call it? Actually, these are chicharrones. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We all love fried pork fat. You know, I mean, come on. Yeah. And for all you vegans out there, we're sorry. <laughs> mm. It's like, I really can't figure the looks of the Brazilian people. I'm looking around and they're like so diverse. Yes, I think it is just a testimony to humanity that this blend of African, the native um, Indian population, the Portuguese population, the Asian population, all blending together to make such a beautiful blend of people. Yeah. They are gorgeous. They have and they have perfect bodies. I mean, my God, don't you just hate them? <laughs> God. In case you are hearing something in the background, this is me eating the sucharon. Mm. Crunchy. Oh. Hello. Oh. Uh, Wrong steak. Oh, wow. Rose. Rose. This is pirão. Pirão? Yeah. Sauce and flour. All right. Oh, wow. Y cómo se come ese con arroz? Y você vê esse aqui junto com arroz e con arroz. É de tudo. Okay. Vamos a tá. compartir. Também. Gracias. Muito de dividir esse primeiro. Ah, esse oh, ok. Esse é feijado? Não, esse aqui é farol. O oh, farol. Em ovos. Eggs. Eggs bom. Ok. Baião de dois. Beans e rice. Oh. Yes. Yes. Ah, banana. Banana, plátano. Yes. Plátano. Oh. Y papa frita. Yes. Ah, perfecto. Ah, claro. Ok, perfecto. Gracias. Obrigado. Oh, my God. It's a lot of food. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh my god, you gotta try that rice. Really? The rice is so good. And this is made with eggs. We ordered a lot of food, but it's so good. Cheers to that. Everything is delicious, but for me, the winner is this moqueca, which is a fish stew made with the most wonderful sauce. The fish is fresh, it's just a big chunk of fish meat covered with prawns in this wonderful reddish brown sauce that is so flavorful. It's garlicky, it's 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 spicy, not too spicy. And then this one here, they take the sauce of this and then they add flour to make it like a starch and it is so good with this unbelievable mm. just look at that fish it's so it's so fresh mm. well we just finished our meal the food was superb we ate just about half of it because they give so much. An excellent value for money. The quality of the beef was superb. The moqueca, which is the fish stew, was so flavorful. And I could have just feasted on that. In fact, one dish split between the two of us would have been fine. Now for the bill.
<laughs> Not too bad. So Picanha de Baraca. Oh, Thank you, Adam. Welcome, let's go. This kind of reminds me of the old Malati streets, you know? Right. I don't want to be left with a lot of real, so I'm <laughs> gonna spend what I have. Uh, so what do they call their money? Reals. Yeah. Oh look here, feijoada do balada. Feijoada. It's a very uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, That's nice, sir. Balada very And then you, you kind of go or you go slowly, like the taxi drivers, they don't care. But they go slow looking and then that's Just as so long as they get you there safe. Yeah. Oh, look at that, people enjoying the streets. This yeah. is what I love. We never see this in the States. People retire at like 8 o'clock in the morning. Yes. So far, we are actually our first night in Brazil. Yes, it's Rio. been wonderful. So much fun. Mm. So many cafeterias. And yes. And then we yeah. found out that it's better to order cafe vodka than cafeterinha. Because it doesn't give you a headache after. But, and, and if you actually look on the other side, there's a fitness center. Oh my goodness, look at the men. <laughs> the men here are hmm. oh, Okay. Yeah, this is Marcel, our beautiful guy. Hello, yes. Guys. Tell, us, real. tell him about your uh, your uh, company. Oh yeah, we have uh, gay tours. What's the name of the company? Oh no, take this one. <laughs> people like to just even admit even gay people if they like to drink beer on the streets, you know. Right. I love that. Yeah. That's like New Orleans. The black guy here is very gay. And his friend is filming him. <laughs> So tell us about where we're at now. Yeah, so this is a place people come to drink different types of cachaça, but I don't I don't think you want to do that because it's <laughs> and and Lapa, look at this architecture. It's where Samba was born in the 30s. People used to be arrested here just for doing music because people that didn't work were accused uh, of being vagabonds. Oh, it was just like in France with the can can. Yeah. They thought that was so exactly. bad. And so people didn't realize that that is really got the best dance ever. Yeah. We are now in Lapa. Mm -hmm. 
so where are we going now? Yeah, so I wanted to see some of these uh, live music. Uh -huh. So we have this one. So this would be what they call samba band. It's not the same type of uh, samba you see in the parade. It's more uh, not so fast. More chill. More chill. Normally five guys. I love the beat. Yeah. I love the musical. So we got you, you get Europeans here. All right. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, they're tall men. Yeah. Man. So what's your favorite here? My favorite what? Yeah, a uh, place to hang out. Yeah, in I think that, that one. Uh -huh. But let's check because this one has live music too. Okay. When they say like they are in a break, okay. they say, oh, oh they're oh. coming back, but they never come. Really? Uh, that happened to me already. Oh, forget oh, that. Do this one, although oh, it's not oh, very it's beautiful. Busy. Oh, it's, yeah. We don't like that much busy, but this is beautiful. Yeah. Let's let's cross. Let's cross. Be careful with the bus. Run. <laughs> but could never be doing that speed. Gracias. I mean, obrigado. Let's go place where it's not too loud. Too loud, yes. Is it good? Over there? Over there is fine. Better. Yeah. Yeah. Here, cause you get the views. Good. I don't need the view. You want to have your board? Yeah. What's that board? Bota separado, bota separado. Bota separado. Bota separado. Bota separado. Bota separado. You It's a barbecued meat. Yeah, just transfer to the plate and eat normally. Yeah. Translate it to the plate. It's just like uh, you have french fries, you have the meat, and then you have a sauce. That what is this, Nutella? It this is a varofa. Varofa. Oh, yeah. That's the eggs made with the. Okay. Thank you. So like this, right? 
Marcelo bang just strike That was so much fun. So where to now? Yeah, you want to try Bingo Bingo? Yes, let's try that. Yeah. Sure. You know, I'm just amazed at how good the food is here. Yeah. This is a nice place. Mm -hmm. There is a, this, this place is a chain, the food here is really good and they have one in the gay street with a rooftop, really nice. Oh my god, yeah. I like this place. Really and then you can see the, the boys at the beach and eat. Yeah. Right. Look at that, yeah, it's gorgeous. You have to come to Lapa, which is a section in Rio, which is a bohemian section that is very LGBT accepting. There are so many restaurants, so many bars, wonderful food, wonderful people, and wonderful music. So you gotta come here. According to our wonderful guide, Marcelo. <laughs> yes. yes, it's a better way of saying it, right? What's that? You said gay accepting. You, you said very gay accepting. Yes. You said all... I'm tolerant. Gay oh, friendly. So. Gay friendly. Better than gay friendly, right? Considering yeah, yeah. that 50% of the people here are gay, you know. A lot of gay...
Now back in our hotel. Ugh. So this is our hotel. Now we're going back. Oh. What's your step? Yeah. I sent you away. 